Looks like my 80 meter loop was missing this morning, so I thought I would do a video on how to put one back up. Here we've got our supplies. Uh, we've got the 500 feet of synthetic textiles, uh, 3 16 Dacron rope. You can see a nice spool of that uh, uh, here. And we've got some other materials on the uh, uh, table here. We've got 4 inch uh, pulleys, which we'll be replacing. Uh, that uh, the wire feeds through on each uh, corner of the loop. We've also gone ahead and pre-cut our 290 feet, slightly longer than needed, of 12 AWG uh, stranded THHN copper wire. You can see a nice spool of that there. A little uh, lengthy to uh, cut. And that uh, is going to be used to uh, melt the ends of the uh, Dacron there to keep them from fraying and that's uh, a nice big garage door spring that is used at the anchor points of the Dacron uh, so uh, things can move around as the wind blows. Well this is what happened this is all that was left uh, you can see that uh, there's a couple of my uh, supports and how the wire kind of fed through um, it was violently ripped apart uh, here's uh, the 600 ohm balanced transmission line it was uh, ripped from the uh, wire and broken in several spots so really a bizarre situation uh, not really sure what to make of that and uh, you can see the ladder snap right there uh, that holds up uh, both conductors together usually here's uh, some of the old antenna that uh, went through the support so we're going to be reconstructing it all but uh, as you can see it's just really uh, sort of in shambles but the antenna has always been built the way I build them uh, to be a, a very simple setup that uh, is easy to reconstruct and easy to do maintenance on so we'll be doing that oh here's a piece of the uh, 600 ohm line that was uh, looks like one side was ripped from the uh, antenna and then just ripped right out from itself so uh, that's uh, real nice. What else do we have here? That's about it for here. Well, let's go ahead and uh, move on then. We'll go ahead and uh, see what, uh, uh, what we have this attached to. It's a little difficult to tell here, but in this angle you can start to see I go up to the tree on the right, over to the tree on the left, and back down as vertical as possible to this side of the backyard. And let's take another view of this to sort of get a, uh, a real uh, scaled idea of the height of that tree. Uh, it is very, very tall. Very fortunate to have this uh, set up. Uh, really makes uh, things quite, uh, quite easy to deal with. Here's the front. My house is the one on the left. And we go down towards the, uh, the left-hand side of the screen where the feed point is. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's amazing. So really a beautiful tree. Uh, older uh, neighborhoods like this have and you can see uh, the base of it there as the Dacron comes down and makes its way through the uh, greenery there to a tie-off point where we have a large garage door spring as we saw earlier. And we'll go ahead and uh, get started on what we can as I had to film this by myself. Uh, here we have the loop starting to uh, come together. Uh, it is uh, still loose on both supports and we do not have it yet uh, terminated to the PVC structure. We have everything loose but we're starting to raise it up as you can see. Uh, you can kind of make out that white wire as it comes back to the main uh, feed point which is uh, now also put together in its T configuration. Uh, that uh, T is uh, 10 feet across. I do that to help uh, uh, bring the two pieces of wire apart uh, so that uh, the antenna has a little bit more efficiency on low frequencies so that the antenna itself doesn't look like a piece of transmission line. Very simple, very inexpensive. Great way to do it. You can see I put some pulleys in so we can uh, have a lot of flexibility even on the uh, feed point. Um, I did this very quickly, very simple. Uh, you can see the uh, holes drilled through the pipe and then uh, the wire threads through the pulleys 
and then comes to the center there and gets uh, tied uh, for a stress relief where the 600 ohm line is also attached to. And uh, symmetrically on both sides, obviously. So there it is again. Uh, we have it uh, uh, loosely put up. We've got a tag line in the middle of the loop uh, to help uh, uh, overcome any obstacles. And here we can see I'm going to uh, trim back uh, some about about uh, 12 inches of uh, wire uh, for uh, the stress relief of the antenna as it goes through the PVC uh, sections here. And this is, uh, this is a pretty uh, simple process, really. I've already pre-drilled uh, from the prior antenna, and we just go right through the PVC, and then we loop it around, and that uh, produces a real nice uh, stress relief that uh, still has a lot of flexibility. So we'll go ahead and uh, do that and get that all situated. And there it is finished up, and we'll uh, seal it up later on. And the same thing with the other side. Try to keep that as symmetrical as possible, the uh, distance uh, that we're using here. Okay. So that's, uh, that's a good stress relief and again goes through the pulleys on either side as well. And I could probably shorten up the left side a little bit. We can go back later and do that. I was just really happy to get uh, the majority of this done on a nice fall day about uh, mid 80s right now and a little bit overcast. So uh, pretty decent weather. Okay, well now here we have the uh, garage door spring and you can see how I've attached this. After we've uh, pulled up one whole side of the loop, we've gone ahead and uh, anchored it, and you can see the nice garage door spring so that when the wind blows, uh, that actually has a lot of flexibility to it. We've gone ahead and uh, tied off the extra Dacron and placed it there. We also have tag lines on the pulleys so that if you do lose your antenna, you can pull the system back down. And the tag lines are on each pulley uh, each main support of the antenna which is critical. If you uh, don't have tag lines and you lose your antenna you'll never be able to pull it down and you'll have to reshoot the lines. You'll just completely lose the lines that you have shot. So having uh, tag lines tied on which is just another section of Dacron uh, from the main supports is uh, very very critical. So here we are uh, back uh, at the antenna we've got the 600 ohm uh, feed line attached coming down at a right angle. Uh, we've gone ahead and attached that with uh, some wire ties and we can seal that up with any number of sealers, electrical tape or any other form of compound uh, to keep the moisture off of the uh, copper there to keep it from oxidizing. And You can see one of the spacers of the uh, 600 ohm line. So uh, pretty simple I come down at a right angle with a specific length of a transmission line. Uh, here's some extra that I uh, built uh, from, uh, I think it's CNC73, but this was so long ago, I, I may be wrong on that. And you can see the ladder snaps. Those are called ladder snaps, and you just build it yourself. And uh, the antenna works real good on, uh, actually, believe it or not, 160 through, uh, through 10. So. It's a very small loop for 160, but the length of transmission line helps. This is the front view of the house, and as you can see, the reason I chose white wire is obvious. Where is the loop? There's a 280-foot loop back there, but you can't see it. It's a wonderful thing. It's a great SWLing antenna, uh, great for transmitting, just all around a very, very great antenna. So, really enjoyed it. Let's hope this one sticks around, though. I don't want to do it again. This is Tyler, amateur radio operator, Kilo Alpha Zero, Kilo Alpha. Thanks for watching.